Welcome, welcome back everybody to the Cirque Show 24-7, and this is the season premiere, the pilot episode, what we've all been waiting for, what everybody's been asking me to just talk about and stuff. I'm going to do it. Here it is, and we all know what it is. This is Arrow, so let's get into it. Nobody can know my secret. All right, guys, Arrow. Now, Arrow is the CW Network's um, answer to the very popular, very, you know, just out there, sometimes good, sometimes bad, TV series Smallville. Now, when I saw Smallville, I loved it because it made me get into liking Clark Kent. Clark Kent, a.k.a. Superman. Now, if you know me, you know I am not a Superman guy. I am a Batman type of dude. So, um, watching Smallville really got me into, you know, Superman and just his, like, whole story and stuff. So, I always hold, like, Smallville, like, very close to my heart because it, it was a great show for what it was and it got me into a superhero that I never really cared too much about so you know always gave it props for that now going into you know this brand new series and when I first heard about it and they was talking about you know what if we do you know uh, a, a arrow a green arrow series what if we do something like that and I was like that would be awesome but what if we do it with a different actor and a different universe from Smallville and to be honest when I first heard that I was like what the fuck? Because, you know, <laughs> I really enjoyed the uh, the guy who played uh, Ollie in Smallville. That was one of the reasons, you know, I kept watching Smallville because of the guy who played, you know, Green Arrow. And I just loved his whole, like, story, his whole backstory and the way he, he was. And I just loved it. So, you know, going into this, you know, I was very hesitant and just very, not, like, not sure. So, um, I was just like okay you know what I, I always give something a chance you know especially when it comes to superhero uh and comic book stuff i always give that stuff a chance so you know that's what i did i gave it a chance um i didn't watch none of the trailers i think i only watched like the first trailer that they ever did i only watched it once and i was like okay i'm not gonna watch no more i'm just gonna wait until the premiere and i'm sorry for all the people who wanted me to do you know a trailer review for it but i just wanted to go into this with a very open mind so after watching it, after seeing the premiere, I actually liked it. I liked it a lot. I thought it brought something very original and very like gritty and dark that Smallville never could do. Um, when when it first started, when this episode first started, it almost seemed like it was a movie. It really did. Like I thought, like. Am I watching a movie? Is this like a mini series or not? I didn't know if it was like like CW was gonna do like a mini series, and that's why it looked so good. But when I first saw, it, I was like, "This looks really good for some reason." Like the first like fifteen minutes of it looked very very good, and then it opens up with just the the whole like kind of him running in the woods and stuff like that. And when you see like him in beard, and I'm like, "Is is that Jesus?" I'm like, damn, Jesus. He's a badass. I didn't know Jesus can, you know, do parkour. That's what I thought because he kind of looked like Jesus. This, the first five minutes of this uh, series, I thought it was the director's cut of Passion of the Christ. Like, I'm dead serious because he really looked like Jesus for a second. So um, it just really had me intrigued. And I, I didn't, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know too much about, you know, Green Arrow. I know, I know a little bit about it. I know Ollie and stuff, you know, I know a little bit about it, but I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of Green Arrow. I'm, I'm a bigger fan than, than, um, than Superman. You know, I'm a way bigger fan of Green Arrow than I am a Superman. So, um, that's saying a lot. So, you know, I, I when I saw it, and I just saw it like the whole kind of just opening montage, I, I just thought it was so good and just so great. And it, it had me on, on the edge of my seat. And, you know, uh, the story takes place like he's been trapped on this island for five years after a shipwreck. You know, Oliver Queen, he's this uh, billionaire, you know, rich playboy, you know, you know, just basically like a regular stereotypical a billionaire superhero you know he's he's the playboy and stuff like that and, you know he gets all the girls and stuff so you know that wasn't uh you know you know none of that really i i really didn't care about but what really you know 
captured my attention was just like the flashbacks of how he got to that point and um like what happened with the shipwreck and just how he was uh, after the shipwreck because you saw him like he was a little bit younger he was a playboy he cheated on his girlfriend with his girlfriend's sister and brought her on the ship with her and you're like this guy's an asshole man this like, jesus is an asshole right now like what is going on like <laughs> so you know it had that kind of element but what really just dug deep into it was when you know the ship wrecks and you know people start dying off and stuff you know the the girl dies and his dad you know everybody dies and he's left alone and to to fend for himself for like five years on this like like remote like island just by himself so that's what really brought me into this episode and when he gets back and you know when he gets found and he gets back and just the whole training montage that he has and you know this guy like i'm a straight guy but this guy is he's a very good looking guy he he's built like crazy and like just the whole training montage i was like you know what i am jealous uh, i need to put this cheeseburger down find a salad maybe do like two or four push-ups so i was a little jealous of him you know you know i was a little jealous of him but you know just the whole training montage of him trying to uh become you know green arrow and him just you know seeking out the vengeance and stuff was just really good and it was done very very well and the only thing that that is really like worrying me is is it just the pilot you know what i mean because usually for pilots that that's what you have to do to sell this you know the uh the series you, you have to put everything into the pilot so hopefully they didn't shoot their load and just put everything into that pilot hopefully you know they kind of spread it out with everything with the visual effects the way it looks and stuff so that's what i'm uh you know hoping happens you know I, I hopefully you know it doesn't go and start looking like smallville because as much as i like smallville it looked cheesy you know what i mean it really looked cheesy um so hopefully that doesn't happen and hopefully it just maintains the way it looks and the way it's shot because it's shot beautifully um just like the, when he's in the dark and the shadow kind of reflects him and stuff and when he puts on the suit and just the whole training montage it was just shot very very well and i really liked it um another thing i thought was good was just uh the way the story played out because you see like when he gets the first person when he uh first gets kidnapped and stuff he kills somebody and i'm like oh shit you know this is not superman this is not batman this is green arrow and he don't give a fuck right now he will kill somebody and you see he's a changed person and this is a different you know way of telling a story of a superhero he he is willing to kill to get the job done and he snaps the guy's neck and just the whole action scenes of this whole entire episode was very great it was very well done but it kind of took me by surprise when he got the guy and just just snapped his neck so i was like oh shit i like it you know and at first I, when i thought about it, i was like well do i like it like he is a superhero right like he is right shit i don't care i still like it, it was badass and that's how i felt about it so i thought it was done just great and just the way he went about it and you you tell that he he's killing for a reason so once they start talking about the backstory and what happened and what his dad told him um then you'll probably get more of why he's doing this and wh wh what drives him so that's what i'm looking forward to um for the rest of these episodes another thing that was just very shocker was the the end of the episode where you find out his mom was his own mother his own mother was the one that set him up you know what I mean? His own mother was the one that set him up and got him got him kidnapped in the first place because she knows that his father, before he died, told him something. And whatever that is, his mom wants to know and a whole bunch of other people want to know. So whatever his dad used to do before he died is very important. And a lot of people are looking for answers. And Oliver Queen is the only one that has it. So it's got me excited for that. So overall, I thought this was a phenomenal job for a pilot episode it was done well for a superhero tv show because that those are very hard to sell it kind of sounds sounds easy for a superhero live action tv show but it's very hard to sell and i think for a pilot episode for green air for a 
a superhero that is not as popular as Superman or a Batman or somebody like that, it got me on the edge of my seat and it got me wanting to tune in next week. So please tell me, what did you think? Did you like uh, the first um, episode of Arrow? Uh, what what did you like? What did, um, didn't did you like? You know, um, so please comment below. Let me know. And um, this will probably be my last episode until I have my new co-host. So hopefully I can ha uh, have my first video up with my co-host in like Friday or Saturday. Hopefully. Or what's today? maybe i might do one more episode because i did forget like i do uh before i leave i think supernatural is coming on so maybe you'll get like one more uh cw uh review for me uh this week so as always guys this is the search show 24 7 be easy